Now, with heavy snows on the roof, one of the issues that can arise is something called a rafter thrust. Um, this is when we got heavy static snow loads on the roof, and that weight has to get transferred down into the structure. And if that weight's too much, or if there's a design flaw, we can get something called outward thrust, and those rafters and those exterior walls start to bow down, and ultimately those walls push out. Trusses have their own potential failures under heavy loads in the form of truss sagging. Now with a similar heavy load on the rafters um, that we had on the rafters, that weight again is getting transferred down, but now it's onto these trusses and all their components. And that stress in turn starts twisting and bending the individual web members and components of that trust. Uh, truss. And now the same thing that makes trusses great, like larger expanses and open spaces compared to traditional framing, means we might have less support to absorb and transfer that load. And that fatigue shows up in the form of fractures um, to some of those truss members and separation of those truss connections, like the mending plates and the gussets. We'll see in some um, pictures coming up how that actually happens. Now, to make matters possibly worse, this load can be increased by unbalanced loads, all right? This happens for several reasons. Snow melts on a sunny day on a sh or versus a shady elevation. Wind patterns blow snow off the windward facing slopes, but keeps it on the leeward. And this creates an unbalanced load on the roof structure. You might also have drifts. Um, this can happen with upper slopes as well as lower slope roofs. And then we've got sliding snow, all right? This can be oftentimes catastrophic a sudden impact or dramatic weight increase on a specific slope or area. Now you can find numerous YouTube videos of snow sliding off a roof and pancaking a car or crushing a deck or a lower uh, roof causing it to collapse under that new sudden load. And finally, we've got something called rain and or snow surge, rain on snow surcharge. Now, if you've got a snowpack on your roof and then it rains, that snow acts like a giant sponge and can increase the weight dramatically. And it brings ice dams back into the picture. This can actually exacerbate the water intrusion issues. The water that gets trapped in that snow from that rain is now on top of the water that might already be trapped and getting it into the interior space.